back to Let's Go Live. It's the end of Magic Week, episode 38. My name's Maddie. Hello, I'm Greg, and all together now, we are live. Yes, we are. You can find us here in our spare room studio weekdays at 11 a.m. For a show of fun and facts and all this week, magical activities for you to try. Yeah, jam packed with magic. We've had daily camera tricks and lots of magical makes. Now, thank you so much for joining us live. If you're catching up later, hello, thank you for joining us. Who is with us uh, in the live chat this morning? Oh, let's have a look and let's see, shall we? We've got uh, Ina from Tokyo. Uh, Erin and Amelia, hello. Uh, We've got Daphne in Norwich, hi. Uh, Emily and Henry in Bista. Uh, Prana and Prayan in Northampton. Uh, David and Laura in Kenilworth. Emma in Blackpool. Charlotte and James in the Netherlands. Sylvan and Juno in Raxall. Callum and Connor in Devon. Alice in Manchester. And Harry and William in Burstall. Hello, and so many more. And again, yes, hello to you if Hi. you're watching back. So every day this week, we have been enjoying magical shows from a professional magician. But today, it's all about you, our magical viewers. And you have been showing off your magical skills and sending us your magic tricks, videos of your magic tricks in the Hundreds. hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. Yeah. Yes, we cannot wait to show you some of them mm-hmm. later on in the show. Uh, we've restocked with yes. popcorn. Yes, yes, we have. You have also been showing us your magical mirror photos. Uh, we can take a few. We can take a look at some oh, of those. Yeah, yeah let's why do not? That. Let's do that. All right. Uh, this is Araya. Uh, she made this ambigram that says love and it also says let go live upside down and the right way up nice this is Vigo and Casper who had great fun making funny faces in the mirror <laughs> Nama and Esther here they are showing off their levitation trick on holiday last year whoa and um, here's Isabel and Isaac uh, they made a magic potion they use bicarb uh, of soda washing up liquid food coloring glitter and vinegar and they've got magic wands made from sticks found on a walk oh, some good kitchen science there uh, Daisy and Joe had loads of fun making their troll brain rainbow potions and... next up we have Oliver and Henry uh, they made two lava lamps one was earth themed and the other one was sea themed nice idea and last up you got sisters face Faith, Bethany (laughs) and Autumn, uh, who loved trying the cloning photos we had to go at. So many different poses. Yeah. Uh, And finally, we have a video here of Josephine and her grandpa who had a go at levitating in a mirror. Love this. We love seeing you families doing things together. It's just, it's awesome for us. It is, um, yeah. We have covered a whole range of magical topics this week. We started with vanishing and then levitation. Then we did potions and we did magical mirrors. But don't worry if you have missed any because you can catch up on all 37 other episodes of Let's Go Live on the YouTube channel. Um, but today we're going to be talking about magical <laughs> creatures. What was that? Nothing. No, I'll just. I'll be. Um, I'll be. I'll, I'll be back in just a second. Hang on. Just uh, entertain ourselves. Just me. Sorry. Sorry. What on earth is going on? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing's going on. Excuse you. Honestly. Right. Um. Where what, were we? What were what we? What were we talking about? Um. Magical creatures. Oh, magical creatures. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh. The mythical animals and the fantastic beasts mm. that you get in stories and films and legends. Uh, yeah. Do you want to know what my favourite is? Oh, go on. What's yours? I've got a picture of my favourite. My favourite's a niffler. Oh, right? yes. Because it like shiny things. Yeah. Great for hunting out treasure. Here's from, a niffler from Fantastic Beasts, actually. Yeah. So I love all magical creatures. Actually, let us know what your favourite one is in the live chat yeah, right do. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what have we got? Uh, we've got uh, unicorns. Yeah. And... Seriously, what is that? Quiet, Colin. I'm working. So, uh, so... I can think of loads. I yeah. can think of uh, unicorn, uh, phoenix, werewolf. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, what, what else? else? Uh, fairies. Fairies. Yeah. Fairies. I've got a picture of fairy. Hang on, let me find it. Here you go. What else have we got? Oh, fairies. Fantastic. Here you go. For hundreds of years, fairies have been described in stories as tiny, magical, human like creatures with these insect like wings. Yeah, they're also very clever. They do like to play pranks and they can be pretty grumpy. But hang on, they do like mm-hmm. teeth. Yeah. They like washing up liquid. They do. Think about that one. Mm-hmm. They like Christmas lights mm-hmm. and that one. Uh, and <laughs> flying, of course. They yeah. like flying. 
here's the thing fairies are invisible to non-magical humans muggles mm, so mm. we've actually had to draw some fairies um we've got some just over here there is a slight issue are. uh with this drawing though here we go see if you can see if you can spot what's going on Ah. Yeah, they, they don't have wings. No. So these fairies can't fly. However, we have a, a little magic trick, an activity that you can do at home to help them try. Science trick. Fly. Right, here we go. <laughs> uh, here we go. Let's do that. Let's move that over a little bit more. There we go. in like this. Ooh. Nice. Oh, split screen. All right. Okay, this is a temperamental spell, everybody. But we <laughs> do need happens. to say Wingardium Leviosa. Okay. One, two, three. Watch your hand. Wingardium Leviosa. Come on. Come on. Pour the water in. Yes. 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 Some of them are flying. Some of them are flying. Look. Whoa. We've got this so off. So happy that works. Wow. Look at this. Right. Shall I tell you what's going on? Yeah. Hang so on. This... I want to just, if I just on, move them a, them a little bit. Wiggle. Yeah. Whoa. That's so awesome. How great is that? So we've turned them into fairies. Yeah. They're, they're invisible insect wings. Uh, we've used a bit of science. So mm -hmm. let me tell you what's going on. So we drew these fairies using this pen and it's all about what this pen is. This is a whiteboard marker. So this is what you draw to draw up on one of those whiteboards on the wall. And it's designed so that it's writing can be uh, easily wiped away. Yeah. And the reason for that is it's a lot less sticky than normal pens. And the key is that the ink uh, dries to form a thin solid layer right? Mm -hmm. That doesn't mix with water. It mm -hmm. doesn't dissolve. So okay. when we pour in a bit of water, yeah. it's a lot less dense than the water. So it wants to float up. Yeah. And actually that floating force or that buoyancy force, as we call it, is stronger than the sticking force. Uh -huh. So they're able to essentially just kind of like peel away and yeah. float. Super cool. Isn't that fun? And all you need is just a dry white marker and a shiny plate and a bit of water and you can make your own flying fairies. How cool is that? I tell you what, Greg, let's so pass good. these back over to you. Careful, careful not to... <laughs> they get, um... Okay, I did say fairies can get... They can get really grumpy. Sorry. Careful, careful Sorry, with them. Care... Oh. Shh, 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 shh. Careful with the fairies. There we go. All right, okay. <laughs> right, we should move on quickly. Pop them down, pop them down. Okay, right. I think we should move on. <laughs> Don't spill the fairies, Gregs. There Success. we are. Okay, more no magical spot. creatures. So we've done fairies. What's next? Uh, right. Does anyone know what this magical creature is? Aha. Uh -huh. I do. That yes. is... Oh, should we just say bonus points as well? If you can tell that's a flag. It's on a flag. Bonus okay. points if you can say what country that flag is for. Okay. Well, it's a dragon and that is the Welsh flag. Dragons yes. are actually the national animal of Wales. We tend to get two different types of dragons. Mm -hmm. uh, in Western cultures, it's usually got wings and can breathe fire. <sighs> uh, in Eastern cultures, it tends to not have wings and be more serpent-like, like snake-like. Uh, yeah, that, okay. Um, and there, dragons are always causing problems. Mm -hmm. like Harry had to face a dragon. Hobbits, <laughs> Hobbits had to face a dragon. They did. Loads of dragons in Game of Thrones. Yeah. I love dragons. Yeah, me too. I really like dragons. Um, it's just, but again, just like fairies, dragons are invisible to non-magical humans. So we can't really see them with our own eyes, which is a massive shame, um, especially considering I've actually got a dragon on my lap right now. You have? I do. And we're going to try to use technology to show you it. Yeah, so it's okay. been sat here. It's all just hopped on just a few minutes ago when we had, were dealing with all the all the fairies over there. Um, From technology. The thing is, we can't see it with our own eyes, but we do have a very magical device known to muggles as a smartphone that will help us to see this dragon. Come on. Do you want to come see the dragon? We call this, uh, this dragon is called Ember. It's a pet of mine, uh, one of many actually. Um, so how's it looking? It's not working. I'm going to put it on there. There we go. All yeah. Right. Hang on. Hang on. Wait till you see this. Come on, Ember. There Say hello is. to everybody. It's on the corner oh, of the hi. desk. Hi. How are you? Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. Do you want to show our friends, uh, all of our friends, the sort of cool things that Ember can do? Okay. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Sleep. Oh, it, it thought it said yes. Ember, sleep. Sleep. Oh, come on. Come on, technology. <laughs> Sleep. Oh, sorry. There you go. It's gone to sleep. Do you want to wake her back up again? What? Wake her back up. Wake up. Wake. <laughs> All right. Why don't you show her flying? She's got some really good flying okay, tricks. Fly. Oh, something <laughs> went wrong. Try again. Hang on. 
Fly. Fly. Oh. Fly, Ember. Fly. Woo! Yeah, there we go. Wow. We fire. What's really cool is if you say the word flame. Go on, Greg. Go on, okay, go on Ember. Show, show us your skills. Flame. Yeah. Oh, blue fire. So this is awesome. So this is um, this is something called alternative reality or AR. Uh, it's a really cool bit of tech. It adds this computer generated image on top of what the camera can see. So through my yeah. phone, which we've got a feed of, yeah. you can see the dragon up there having a fly around. Yeah, let's make her fly. Go on, off you go. Oh, she's going to go have a look oh. at the camera. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Oh, no, thank you. Oh, no. Oh, don't back up. Back up, back up. Come back. Don't this, go way. Camera. this way. Come back this way. No. Honestly. Should we try a selfie with this? We can try a Should selfie. We try a with selfie? This. I don't know if this is going to be possible. Okay. Right. Oh, oh, we're down there. We might need to fly Ember, Ember back down a little bit. Okay, right, you lot. We're going to try the uh, very awkward selfie today because I need to somehow get you and the dragon in the shot. Hang on, why don't I move up to the there's dragon? There's the dragon, there's the dragon. Okay, that'll do. Okay, you ready everyone? Three, two, three, two, one. It's, it's the awkward, awkward selfie. selfie. Very awkward selfie with a dragon. <laughs> right, one I last, one last flame. Okay. Yes, all right, cool. Three cameras, um, a mental device that. and a dragon with, whilst doing an awkward selfie. That Live. was wonderful. That was wonderfully awkward. Absolute craziness. I wouldn't have it any other oh, way to be completely was, honest with you. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Right, yeah. that's right, it. Enough. What is that sound? Oh, my God. Yeah, sorry. What? Are you, are you off again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be in the corner. So bananas bananas this time. Right, so that's a, that's a, a whole box of cereal. Uh, bananas. Eating the bananas. Great. Better not burp again. That was really Mads, yeah, you know, we're, we're about to show them the sorry, unicorn sorry, sorry. poo thing. Sorry. I'm back. I'm back. <sighs> Nothing to so, see here. So Nothing what is to worry on? about. Go it sounds big. We what are, is... what are you uh, we're going to be talking about unicorn poo. Unicorn poo. Isn't that right? Unicorns. Unicorns. All Who right, likes unicorns? All right. Back on track. Here's a picture. Uh, here's a unicorn. Yeah. Uh, often described as a beast with a single large pointed spiralling horn uh, projecting from its forehead. They've been known to be part of uh, stories way back in the ancient Greeks, had mm -hmm. lots of stories about unicorns. Yeah, its horn was said to have magical powers. And in medieval times, the tusk of a real life animal, that's the narwhal, here we go, we've got a narwhal here, was sometimes sold as a mythical unicorn horn. Huh. You can kind of see why, can't you? That is cool. They are, they are unicorns of the sea. <laughs> so uh, we have another demo for you. Uh, this one is, uh, is unicorn poo. Yeah. Related. Oh yeah. So all you need for this one is a plate, yeah. uh, and you need some water, and you need some unicorn poo. All right. Let me go to the other camera. Here it is. So uh, what you're looking at right now, you get a dish. Uh, you position the unicorn poo around the sides. Mm -hmm. You add some water. Yeah. Uh, done. And you watch the the magic or the science in mm -hmm. action. Yeah. Thing is though, Greg, where on earth would you get hold of some unicorn poos? Uh, it's a magical creature centre, right? Uh, known to muggles, yeah, as Tesco's. Ah, yeah. the same place that we got the trolls' brain. Oh, you can get everything there. Yeah, you really can. Um, hashtag not sponsored. Um, <laughs> not many people know that your unicorn poo. Yeah. It's actually all the colours of the rainbow, right? Uh -huh. And it's collected by goblins and it's put in little packets and sold in supermarkets with the disguise name of Skittles. <sighs> you think it's Skittles, but actually Ooh. you have all been eating unicorn poo. It's starting as well. It's it is. starting to create and the unicorn poo. looking absolutely fantastic. It's a unicorn poo. It has magical rainbow properties and we're beginning to see it here. The rainbow is appearing. Uh, tell us what's actually happening. All right. So what you've got here is you've got the Skittles are covered in a layer of food colouring and sugar, mm -hmm. right? And uh, when you pour water over them, that that all kind of starts dissolving, we yeah. say it spreads out into the water. Yeah, so the colour and sugar dissolve into the water and then it spreads out. We say it diffuses through the water and it's making all of these beautiful rainbow unicorn poo patterns. So um, it does look good and they're actually sort of slowly coming together. We've mentioned density a lot in the show. It's actually because the different densities of uh, the sugar um, and the colour, which is why they don't mix and instead... You get rainbow patterns like Look these. Look at that. I love that. That's so good. Isn't that cool? Do you think uh, you're not going to mind if I help myself to... What are you doing? This one? No, you can't. Don't. Greg! 
Don't great. mind if I do? Yeah. Or don't mind if I poo? Oh, very good. You're but welcome. you shouldn't have done that. I mean, I'm not right. surprised that you did. Mm. But actually, eating unicorn poo mm. can summon, it can call on other magical creatures, mm. which isn't isn't really what we... Like that one. There, Greg, did you see it? Did yeah. you see it? I didn't see anything. There was... There was a no. magical creature over there. Didn't see anything. Greg, over there on your other shoulder. Look. Did you see that? No. It was a demiguise. I didn't see it. Oh, if anyone's watched it, fantastic. I didn't, I didn't see okay, it. all right then, hang on. Uh, Immobilus! Okay, so that should keep it still. That yeah, should that, keep it. This, that one I can see. This is a demiguise. It is a magical creature that has powers of invisibility. How cool! No, leave it. Don't, don't. They can nip. Don't they can it. nip. Um, don't poke it. But what's uh, so they've got powers of invisibility. Maybe we should get rid of this one actually. Okay, or is yeah. it sort of going to get in the way? Uh, disappear. Right? There we go. Um, <laughs> cool, right? But you don't see them very often, so that's kind of cool. I'm kind of glad you ate the unicorn well, poo. Actually, he's actually very good friends with yeah. um, another type of creature. Yes. That is actually a real life creature that is a master of invisibility. Yeah, a sea creature, in fact. Mm. What sea creatures do you know that might be masters of invisibility? Masters of disguise. It's an octopus. Yeah. More specifically, an octopus vulgaris. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I absolutely love octopus. Uh, some of you might already know this. And um, <laughs> they are incredible creatures. Now, they don't have magical powers of invisibility, but they do have the ability to camouflage themselves so that they could so that they can disguise and blend into the background so they appear almost like they're invisible take a look at this incredible video we've got for you so this video was taken by a scuba diver who was just swimming up to this bit of seaweed to get a better look and then as if by magic as the scuba diver got closer look what appeared before his eyes <gasps> whoa there it was an octopus. Now the octopus just squirts out some ink to try and get away. And then when it settles, the octopus makes itself really big, sort of blends in with the background again. And can you see that white patch around its eye? That's to make it seem more threatening to the scuba diver. But we can actually watch this video in reverse so we can see how good at disguise this octopus is. Watch. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it's playing backwards. Yeah. Five. Four, three, two, one, <gasps> and it's gone. That is super cool. How incredible. But how on earth are they able to do this? So marine biologists are discovering how they're able to actually uh, disguise themselves. Mm -hmm. And one thing they're doing is looking very closely at squid skin. Yeah. So let me show you a video of some squid skin. All right. Uh, so look, this amazing creature can camouflage itself from predators. It needs to be able to change colour really quickly to match the background. Mm -hmm. And lots of you all thought that this was uh, its colour change is a chemical reaction, ah. like what we saw on Wednesday with the magical potions. But actually, for creatures like octopuses and squids, they lots of have tiny coloured spots on their body called chromatophores. And these spots are uh, surrounded by a ring of muscle. And when the creature wants to change colour, the muscles tighten and this causes the colour spots to be stretched bigger. And these giant coloured spots cause the overall skin colour to change to match the background. They are absolutely amazing. Wow. So all those colourful spots you're seeing right now are actually changing size because yeah. of little tiny muscles pulling on them. Yeah. And that changes the, the mix of the yeah. colour that people see. And they're also able to change the texture of their skin as well. So it's so not neat. just the colour, it's whether it's bumpy or flat, again, to help them blend in with the background and be camouflaged. Should we just um, share a few of your favourite magical creatures? Yes, that you've been please. I'd love uh, to. So Joseph's was a demiguys. Well, we had one of them. We did. Here. Cool. That's, that's good. Uh, Willow got? likes dragons. Millie loves unicorns. Uh, Riley likes magical llamas. Ah, oh, ah, oh, me too. That's amazing. Good pick. Amazing. Isabel and Arthur love kelpies. Uh, Josh, oh, they're good. They're mm. water, water creatures. Mm. Uh, Joshua's favourite is a hippogriff. Yeah, and Sarah loves mermaids, and Alex loves dragons. Yeah, you have to bow yes. to a hippogriff, don't you? Don't look them in the eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Bow to a hippogriff. All right then, we have one last trick to show you. Yes. Um, using our camera. It's time for our camera trick of the day. Cue the music. Camera trick. Normally camera this is trick. the music for quiz, but this week we've replaced the quiz with special camera tricks. Here it goes now. Stop. Oh, fine. Keep going. Never mind. I'll start it out. Sorry. I just always like a longer dance on a Friday. <laughs>
Great. <laughs> wow, okay. what, a, what a move. Thank you. Uh, this <laughs> trick was inspired by another magical creature, giants. Yeah, giants. Uh, in Greek myths, giants used to fight with the gods. Uh -huh. uh, and then you've got the old stories of the giant-like trolls in Scandinavia. Giants are yeah. very cool. I'm not sure if you know this, Greg, or you guys actually, but um, giants have pets too. Didn't know that. But they're giant pets. Oh, makes sense. Yeah, so we makes thought, sense. wouldn't it be fun if we could turn our teddies and toys just like our Dave here into a giant and make them the same size as us. Well, we were able to do just that. Have a look mm -hmm. at this picture. Oh, he looks mini, but actually here he looks huge. No, you're just getting to go for a little walk. Yes. Oh, and don't forget about that time where you got to uh, ride on the back of a giant flamingo. Ah, Maddie. yes. Love that flamingo. It was enormous. So, of course, this is our camera trick that we call Super Size Snaps, and here is how you can do it at home. Hey, Magical Makers. Today's camera trick is called Super Size Snaps. Here's the idea. I'm going to take... <laughs> I'm going to take Dave. There you go. Yeah. And I'm going to try to make it look like Maddie and Dave are going for a lovely walk through the woods. All right, so at the moment, Dave is too small. So we've got to do some trickery. Okay, right, I'm going to set the camera down over here. Maddie's going to go to the back of the garden. Hop, I've got to try to get Ted the same size as Maddie. So you can see if I bring Dave towards the camera. Oh, look at that. That's working on the camera. See how Dave is the same size as Maddie. And then if we put his arm out like this, they should be able to hold hands. Yes, that's working. Almost working on this camera. Okay, right, so let's try to get the snap. Let's move Dave so he's the same size as you. Oh, it looks like he's going for a walk. Maddie's even looking up. She's pretending to look up to one side. It's like she's looking into Dave's eyes. There it is. That's so good. If you want to take this up a notch, you can actually play with where you use the focus on the photo because you don't want to be focused on just Ted, Dave, and you don't want to be focused on just your subject, Maddie. It's even better if you can put the focus in between. So maybe click on the grass or on a wall or something like that. Yeah, perfect. Yes. Have a look at this. Look. Oh, all my dreams have come true. <laughs> I'm going for a walk. Walk in the garden with Ted. Well done. Okay, look. Nice. There's one more thing I want to try. What's that? Because we have... <laughs> We have this flamingo. All right, Mad, so I need you to um, put your feet out like you're stood on top of a flamingo. Okay, is that okay? That's pretty good, yeah. And then if I frame it so that we don't see the grass. Oh, and let's just try one like you're balancing on top of the flamingo. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, perfect. And All right. what if I kind of do this, like as if I'm looking? Oh, like you're looking into the distance. All right, yeah, perfect. Just look into the distance. Currently stood on a flamingo. Going for a little adventure. Good. Yeah, come and have a look at that one. Look at that. Oh, excellent. That's <laughs> hilarious. Actually, that one's my favourite. That is like a proper like magical beast adventure. Oh. So good. Right, you lot. Have a go at your own <laughs> super size snaps. Uh, we can't wait to see them. Yeah. Back to you in the studio. Why don't you have a go at this one? We'd love to see your super size snaps. You can just send us an email to hello at let's go live gmail.com. That's the one. Um, just to say the quizzes will be back. You yeah. Know, the quiz will be back. We just switched them out for camera tricks this week. Um, and also, uh, we, you know, we're very fortunate to have a garden, but you can totally do that anywhere you like, in a kitchen, in a lounge, like wherever. Yeah. Teddy's toys, be creative. We love it when you use a bit of creative. Okay. Seriously. What? What is that? Okay, right. I'm just, I'm just gonna go. It is on. calling you, right? Hang on, hang on. Look, I, I, I might have been keeping a magical creature as a secret pet. It, so it really wants you. Go, go on, feed it. Okay. Feed it. Hang on. Hang on I'm so sorry, you lot. There we go. I, I have no idea that this was going to happen. Sorry, sorry, everyone. Sorry. Right, let's carry on sorry. with the show. Is no, it all right? Here we go. It sounded yeah. like a massive, you, um, like dragon or no, something. No, would you like, would you like to meet our viewers? Okay, what? everybody. Meet Colin. Here he is. That was that was what was making the noise. Yeah, yeah. Co Isn't he so Colin. sweet? Oh no, here's the thing. Oh God, show me show me a little close up. I'm oh, super show proud. Me close up. All right, let yeah. Me go, let me go to uh, no. Top cam. The, the thing is, Colin here. He's a good boy. Do, 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 do. Oh, careful, Colin. The thing is, right now he's little, but when he's fully grown, he's going to be the size of a double decker bus. Yeah. <laughs> Where on earth are we going to put him when he's a double decker bus I size? I haven't exactly thought about that one yet. Doesn't haven't thought, haven't okay. thought that one through. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, um, I think it's about time, everyone, yeah. to uh, to watch the magic show. Yeah. Uh, so pass the popcorn. 
Where's the um, where's the where's the popcorn? Colin from? ate it. And the bag. So Colin. I did say. Don't get in the way of Greg and his uh, and his foot. Excuse you, Colin. Okay, all right. Excuse maybe maybe you. I should just pop Colin back over here quickly. Oh Hang well. On. Um but just before we do watch our performance, we need to we, we've got some announcements, haven't we? Thank oh yeah, so let me just do them. Uh before we show you them, a couple of quick announcements, a couple of quick thank yous. First of all, a massive thank you to Dr. Matt Pritchard uh, and to Neil Kelso. They've been <laughs> our brilliant magical consultants and wonder advisors this week. Uh, and of course, to the uh, to our lovely little Let's Go Live team, Kaliani, Ed, Rob, and Kaylee. A massive thank you to our patrons, because without you, this show would not be possible. And of course, an enormous thank you to all of you watching for joining in and to all of the parents and grown-ups who send in the photos and videos. Thank you so much. Next week in the UK, it's a bank holiday on Monday. It's mm -hmm. half term for the whole week, uh, but we don't want to take a full week off right. the show. Uh, we'd miss you. So <laughs> we thought we'll do two special episodes. On yes. Wednesday, we're doing the highly requested behind the scenes show, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't have a better title. We're still calling it Let's Make Let's Go Live Live. Because uh, nice. it will still be live. We'll just show you our cameras. We'll show you our tech. We'll show you our little spare room here. Yeah. Uh, how we put on these shows every day. Wednesday morning, 11 o'clock. And then on Friday, we're doing another special episode episode where we're going to be setting you some challenges for you to attempt over half term. Yes. Half term fun work, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Should we, uh, um, should we let them know what they are? Yes. Well, we'd love you to have a go. We want you to film them and send them to our email address and they could appear in the show. But of course, we need to tell you what they are. So here goes. All right. You have three potential challenges. Uh, you can do one or all oh, three. I've and quiz music. Here they are. Okay. Oh, game show music. Here we go. It's kind of funky music. Challenge number one, if you care to do it, is to reenact a moment of scientific discovery. Ooh, maybe it could be when Mary Anning found a fossil for the first time. Nice. Uh, challenge number two is to do your best trick shot with a ping pong cannon. Mads, grab the ping pong cannons. Uh, okay. They're just down there. Here they are. Um, you might remember these from episode 26, Mini Maker Week, when we showed you how to make ping pong cannons. Whoa. We want your trick shots. Challenge number three is pretend to be a wild animal and film it in the style of a nature documentary. You might remember this one from episode 23 when I pretended to be an octopus and Greg <laughs> pretended to be a dung beetle. <laughs> um, here's a little reminder of all those tasks. Here's the thing, we want you to be creative. Props, costumes, fun camera angles, characters, there are no rules. You complete these challenges however you want. All right. All of the details are in the description box of this video. Yeah, I can't wait to see props and costumes and, yeah. and, and angles and stuff. That's super cool. All right, you lot. Uh, isn't it time? Is it time, Mads? It is, is it finally time? time. So, okay, time for our Showtime performance. You sent us hundreds and hundreds of videos, and for that, we are super grateful. So many. We were watching them late into the, late into last night, and Very they late. really made us giggle. We loved it. However, there, sadly, there is absolutely no way that we could feature all of them unless we were here for over two and a half hours. Yes. However, we have made this video a little bit longer than normal so that we can squeeze as many in as we possibly could. So, sit back. Relax, watch these shows, about five minutes long. We'll be back afterwards to say goodbye and uh, goodbye to a few people in the live chat. So first, here we go. I'm really excited about this. May I present to you, you. you. Woo. Hi, Maddie and Greg. We're going to do some magic for you. You see this board? I'm going to disappear. It's gone. I am going to make a magical plant appear in this cup. That's magic. Hi, Maddie and Greg. I'm going to make this match disappear. Let's go live. This is my trick. Abracadabra. My name is Liana, and today I'm going to move this pencil without touching it. So I've got a picture of this heart here. And I'm going to take it right off the screen. Bye! Ladies and gentlemen, I shall now make two Leatherman dance with the power of my mind. Uh, yeah! Truly with the power of my mind and... Magnets. This is an empty cup. I'm going to put two cubes of ice in there now. Now I'm going to make the ice disappear. I'm going to make it reappear. Everyone, let's go! My name is Ben.
Spencer. I am going to do an amazing magic trick. I'm carefully going to place this over the cup, gently pick it up and carefully put it over the coin. Abracadabra, make this coin disappear. It's really amazing, isn't it? I'm going to do a magic trick and I'm going to conjure up a coin. Coin, coin is disappears! Way magic! Hi Fred, can I see your colouring book? It's a magic colouring book. Look! Tap it and say the magic words. Abracadabra. Oh. Hey Maddie and Greg, it's me, Alia. I would like to perform this trick and I have a chopstick sushi wand. Abracadabra, well I made the ass right. Ta-da! Hello, my friend, and now I'm going to see a pencil because I'm holding a pencil like this and I wave it. And the secret is I'm waving my hand. Bye! Go live today. I'm going to make this ring disappear into the box. I have a red ball in my cup and I'm going to make it disappear. Abracadabra. There's no sign of it. Where did it go? Hello, I'm Flora. I'm going to turn into someone else. Nothing under the cup that's not under the cup. Abracadabra. Look, not that. No, he's over here. How you tell one corner to do? Then I'm going to make this pencil float. Holding it nice and tight. I'm going to study my wrist. And then It got a sort of me. Hi, my name is Josh and I'm going to be doing a magic bag trick. Now, if I put my hand in, I can pull out a baby Groot. And if I put it in again, I can take out a Nintendo joystick. You know, a dimensional bag is hard. Okay, maybe a lightsaber. That'd be awesome. This is amazing. Oh. Hi, Maddie and Greg. Today I'm going to be showing you some magic tricks that I've been practicing. This is a magic cloth. Nothing in it. I will put it on. As you can see, the dice is still there. Bibbity bobbity bit. My name is Katie and I can turn invisible using this cloak. My name is George and I'm going to make this coin and disappear. My mummy gave me an orange, but I don't fancy an orange. I'm going to change it into something even better. I put my magic cloth on, and now I say the magic words. Abracadabra. <gasps> oh no, I changed it into an onion. That's even worse. It's hero. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Colin, hang on, oh, hang, hang on, on, hang on, hang on. Colin is two. Oh, oh, there we go. You lot are absolutely <gasps> amazing. Give yourselves Thank a you. huge round of applause. Yeah, round of applause. Honestly, if your video didn't get shown, it's not because it wasn't good. They were all brilliant oh, we just we don't have the time loved watching them yeah. thank you so much for sending to them uh sending them to us we loved watching them yes. uh, we thought we'd do one more uh selfie yeah colin felt a little bit left out colin so felt left if, out. You, if you just bear with us we're going to do one more here you are you can take center stage there okay. we are oh there we go all right nice. you lot. so a little bonus selfie uh for you lot you ready if you stay here we go and one two three
It's the, the Colin Selfie. You're the big game day. Go on, get out of it. Nice. Uh, all right, let's say goodbye to uh, a few of you in the live chat. Uh, we've got Herbie in Elstree. Hi. Uh, Ziggy, hello. We've got Ezra and Eli in Stevenage. We have Bella in Croydon. Hope from Seven Oaks. Daniel in Milton Ernest. Uh, we have Aggie in Gloucestershire. Stanley in Deal. Uh, Phoebe and Alice in Derbyshire. Hello. We have Jenny from Anglesey. Uh, we also had Adam who liked Cyclops and Nell who liked Thestrals. Joseph, Emily and Lewis in Bradford. So, so many people watching this. Hello to everyone watching back as well. That is it for yeah. Magic Week. What a fun week it has been. We have loved every moment of it. Hope you've enjoyed it too. Oh. Stay magical, everybody. Stay magical. Yeah. Keep doing it. And um, as we say, remember, those were your challenges. If you want to do one of them, if you want to do a bunch of them, feel free, send them over. This is the email address to send them to. We'll be showing a selection of them in the show on Friday at 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and before that, on Wednesday morning, we've got that behind the scenes show. Yeah. If you Wednesday. want to share. Oh, yes, yeah, so, no, Wednesday and Friday next week live at 11am here from the studio subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as always stay, stay curious. curious and we'll see you on Wednesday bye, bye.